Hi, I'm Ensign Strider, and as promised, here is my Destiny uh, Ghost Edition unboxing video. It is currently 10 past 12, and I have literally just got back from the launch. Um, it was great, there was a whole bunch of gamers there and uh, it was fun just talking to them all. So here it is and it is massive. Just <laughs> there, that is the actual size of it. It is huge. Um, so I'm just going to show off this first of all that there is the little tri-coins on both sides and I like little details like that. And on the back we have, or the bottom depending on how you want to view this, um, is the promotional material for the actual Ghost Edition itself. Um, just, uh, you'll have seen it, it's all over the internet. So yeah, on with the unboxing. I'm going to go through each piece um, quite in depth. Um, I don't want to... Just, how the hell do you get this off? Just, <laughs> I'm struggling with the cardboard sleeve. Just, here we go. Um, oh, that's quite nice actually. On the very top there is the uh, logo which represents the three classes, although it is split into um, yeah four sections. A lot of people were suspecting a fourth class, but I don't think that's the case. Um, so yeah, there's the nice touch there. Also, I will say that the box feels very nice. It's not smooth. It's like a textured uh, sort of thing to it, and it's like a um, hexagon pattern also there's like some it might be difficult for the uh, camera to pick up there's like some uh like sort of like a staining effect on the top like it's uh it's all old and weathered i presume that is intentional just how do you open this ah <laughs> it's sellotaped bear with me i will only take a moment uh i believe i have a knife for work around here somewhere no i can't find it i'm gonna have to use scissors i do apologize i should be prepared for that i didn't notice that there was um so i'm gonna have to be very careful i didn't realize there was salad tape on it i did look to begin with um because i hadn't didn't have the light on it was hard to make out. I hope I'm not damaged it there. That was me trying to get in. Um, oh, that is cool. As soon as you open it, you just like straight away, you've got your ghost looking out of you. So that is kind of nice. And we remove that. Is there anything under there? No, there's nothing under there. Because that is um, arrow effect leading to it as well. I'm going to go into the ghost in a minute. It's actually a bit of weight in there. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought. I thought it was going to be a kind of flimsy feeling. I'm going to come to that last because I think that's what most people want to see so and I want you to stay for the entire video although I will say there are three settings off uh, setting one and setting two uh, and I'll come to those at the end when I actually talk about it and there is a place for a port for a micro USB so you can actually charge it up so let's just come and off it straight away, there's nothing underneath there. So, and that's what you're greeted with when you take the lid off for the actual, um, for, for the actual where the gauze sits. You have the metal steel tin case and you have this book as well. So it's just like a kind of nice feel between like futuristic and like old fashioned and that, that feels like leather, but it may not be. Um, you know, that like full leather stuff. So I'm going to look at this just quickly in here. Um, inside there is a bunch of codes, but I can't show them. I will talk about them briefly. Uh, there is the expansion pack. There's a whole bunch of postcards. There actually is like postcardy type stuff on the back. But there is postcard, I believe that is Mars. Uh, one for the Academy of Venus. Uh, there is the Russian Cosmodrome, um, I believe that to be the space station of some description, it's got Russian on the back. We have a piece of paper. Oh this is cool, it's actually kind of like a little letter and it said, it says, this is not the way it has always been, these worlds were once ours, on a fleet of clumsy rocks we hurtled to 
On a fleet of clumsy rockets, we hurtled towards the stars, fueled by a million miracles we couldn't possibly understand. We danced on the beaches of newborn seas, celebrating our new life, and we were happy. These are not legends, as some have come to believe. The wild frontiers beyond our city walls still bear the hallmarks of our ascent and our destruction. Trees once verdant turn to stone. Violent fishes in the ground where warm seas once lap the shore. Great cities taken by our enemies and broken by time. If you are brave enough, you may see these signs for yourself. If you are wise, you may return with stories of your own. This is your charge. Listen to the voices of our past as they call um, out to you from across the gulfs of space. Look upon the relics you now possess and heed the words of those great guardians who came before you. Add your light to theirs. Bring it um, to the black heart of our enemies. Burn away the darkness that threatens to engulf us um, once and for all. For the union between the past and the future is now. So I just thought I'd read that out because I don't believe you can get hold of these anymore. Um, we have something else here. This is the map. I already get the kind of... It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, there you go. It's the antique star chart. I do like the look of it on the back. It's pretty plain. It's uh, just like a beige colour. So that's that. Um, just pop those away in there nice and safely, don't crease them. And we have the Hall of Consensus. Does this slip out? It does. I see there's like some cool symbols at the back there. But this was one of the things that I really wanted to, um, to look at once I got, got, got hold of it. Um, it's pretty damn cool. There's uh, just illustrations of the guns and it does look and like, feel like a sort of a uh, field guide and it's the Galahorn there. It's just like it gives you a taste of some of the weapons you're going to be looking at. There's like some concept art. Yeah, it's definitely like a taste and there's like things written in here, it's like that feels like someone has owned it before yourself. Um just to give it some weight. I, I want to see if there's like a table of contents. I will read out one of the guns from in here. Um, the gun that I covet, the one that I want, if I can find it. There is only one gun that like really caught my eye and that is Thorn. Uh, it just looks so cool um, and I want it. Um, so there is some notes but I'm gonna, not going to read those like at the side. The, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the handwriting for whoever on this is terrible. So. Um, I'm just going to read out the description as it stands here. So, Thorn, thought to be one of the um, infamous weapons of sorrow. Thor Thorn is known only through heresy and fork um, hearsay and fork fork lore. Should put on my words. Sorry. The repeated theme appears amongst all of the rumours. Its power is to be feared, um, and to be feared is crossed out and replaced with a curse. Its power is a curse. Uh, this image is drawn from the memory of one of the few walkers who claim to have handled it. So, and that is the gun I want in the game, but I doubt I'm going to find it just as easy as all that. Um, I'm just going to put that to one side actually and sort it out later. Just to speed this up a bit. Uh, we have a sealed pouch. Um, contents unknown. Uh, let's have a little look in here. Can I? I'm just going to rip it, straight up rip it. Oh god, I actually kept the seal intact. So let's see, oh this is actually kind of cool. In here we have the one of the patches, I ever used one. And we also have a Russian cosmonaut sticker. A photograph of the first contact with the traveller, not an actual photograph, but you know what I mean. And we also have these images, I believe, of the traveller arriving. That's handy that you can see it on the white background. Uh, of the traveller arriving on Earth, I believe. Could be something else. Um, but yeah, I thought I actually thought there was a different path, patch. I did, thought it was something different to that one, but whatever, it's kind of cool anyway. 
So I'm just going to slide those back into there as quickly as possible. And we have the, oh, you actually get a micro USB uh, cable to charge your cost up as well. And there is, um, I presume that's an instruction guide. So I'm not going to get into that. Um, do we really need to show what's in the box? I'm just going to open it just to make sure there's nothing in there. Just nice and quickly, just because I did this, I would be doing a full unboxing. Absolutely everything. I don't know the entire contents of our work, so I want to make sure I get absolutely everything for you guys. Uh, just throw that down there for now. And no instruction manual, I've noticed. And there's some pre order cords like the one for the Vanguard Armory. There is a PlayStation Plus one month card and your warranty, but no game manual. And there is your game disc, of course. Uh, is there anything underneath that? Sometimes they put art underneath. Yeah, it's kind of like the the director, what the director looks like in the, uh, in the game. So yeah, I believe that to be absolutely everything then I've covered. Everything in the, no, I missed the ghost, the most important part possibly. So there is setting, Wait, whoa, 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 don't get ahead of yourself there, Ghosty. Um, there is setting one where he does claws, and setting two is the full on motion sensor. I think that isn't bolted down. I'll keep an eye out for Fallen. Okay. You need to find some higher level gear and some pants. You're definitely going to need pants. How did he know I was pantless? Um, yeah, so he's motion sensing. So if I go. And get it. This place is amazing. This place is amazing. Ooh. Fascinating. This place is littered with pre golden age artifacts. Grab everything that isn't bolted down. I'll keep an eye out for Fallen. Okay, can you shut up? say a few things and insult me in the process and also decide that he's going to take over my channel. If you want to subscribe to the Ghost channel, um, I kid, I'm going to uh, just for it to end this off, I'm going to put him back onto glow mode just so you can see him. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's everything uh, in the box and I did say I would do a unboxing as soon as I could. So um, yeah, that's everything that's in there. I actually kind of like the stuff that's in here. Uh, I do like the fact that it's actually limited uh, which is what actually drew me to it i do like a limited edition to be limited and when these things sold out and it was just like well we're not making no more screw yourself i was just like oh so this is actually a limited thing um so yeah me and the ghost are now going to go and explore the frontier um did i see a code and i didn't see no code for my like limited skin and stuff oh well so uh, i've been in seven strider and i should go